today I'm going to show you how I made my own night vision hamster cam. I recently got my own pet hamsters. They are so cute and I love them so much. I wanted to see them even if I was away from home. So I decided to make a streaming camera to keep an eye on them. Since hamsters are nocturnal, they are most active at night. But that was when I had a problem. Even though hamsters can see in low light, most cameras can't. I can leave the light on, but my parents wouldn't be too happy about that. I needed a way to light my hamsters. Anyway, I needed a way to light things up without using actual light. Ta-da! I hear lights to the rescue! IR or infrared light is outside the visible light spectrum. But with the proper camera and IR light, you can basically see Just a quick juicy tidbit. Visible light is just a small part within the electromagnetic spectrum that human eyes can see. It exists between the range of 400 nanometers and 700 nanometers. Infrared light exists outside the spectrum, around 700 nanometers to 1 millimeter. The word infrared means below red. It comes from the Latin word infra, which means below, and the English word red. You can find IR in lots of things around you, like your TV remote. It is used to send pulses of light to communicate with your TV. You can't see it with your eyes, but a lot of cameras can. The colors that we see every day is actually light that doesn't get absorbed by the object and bounces back to our eyes. Hamsters are more sensitive to the other end of the spectrum. The range of UV, ultraviolet light, so IR should have no effect on them. Please, please, we are affected by IR. Now, back to the hill. So today, I'll show you how I made my hamster cam with night vision. The main hardware I'll need, a Pi Zero W as the brains, a Pi camera with no IR filter, an IR light array, a light sensor and the array will only turn on the IR LEDs when it's dark, an Adafruit Verter buckboard, and some 3D printed parts. For the software I'll need, Motion iOS for Raspberry Pi, Tinkercad, and Etcher. That's all, and as always, I'll have more detailed links in the description. So, let's begin! I started with a basic assembly with a Pi Zero and camera. This was probably the easiest bit of the whole project. I chose to use Motion iOS because it can run on a Raspberry Pi Zero and has motion detection. It can also upload video and pictures to the cloud. Motion detection was important because I only wanted videos or pictures when the hamsters were active. To install, all you need to do is use Etcher. It is an app that can run on Windows and Mac, and it is used to burn the latest Motion iOS image to your SD card. For full instructions and to download the image files, go down to this link. Once the SD card is burnt, you just need to put it into the Pi and boot for the first time. The OS will auto-configure and connect to your network. That's about it for software setup. Once your zero is running, you can access the camera from any browser. Just enter the IP address that you see on the zero monitor, or use an app like Fing to scan for the zero's IP. I set up motion detection settings, and also recording settings, so that I won't take up too much space on my SD card. You can also have Motion Eye notify you when it detects motion through email. Test out everything to make sure the camera settings work the way you want them to. And you are pretty much done with the software setup. For what I wanted it to do, there is a bit of soldering needed to power the IR board. But other than that, it's mostly plug and play. I chose to create a case to hold the camera in Tinkercad. It's a really easy to use free CAD program. I wanted to make a flower shape to hold all the components. I came up with a flower design that I like. In this case, a daisy. With some help, lots of measuring, printing, and testing, I eventually ended up with a full flower and pot design. 
With all the parts printed and ready, all that's left is the final assembly. I started with putting the brain and camera into the main case. Here, there's a bit of soldering. I needed 12 volts to power the IR array, but the Pi Zero only needs 5 volts. So I used an Adafruit inverter to convert power from the Pi and also supply power to the IR emitter, blue in the outer rings around the camera and IR array. Finally, to assemble the pot, run any wires along the inside of the pot and up the stem to clip in place. Well, that's it! My very own Hastacam with night vision! The camera can be used with flower petals or no flower petals. And I can always design a different type of flower in the future! If you like this video, please give me a like. And for more videos like this one, hit that subscribe button and check out my other projects. Remember, click the little bell icon to get a reminder of my new videos. Well, that's all for now. Thanks for watching. See you next time.